Uh, enough is enough, guys. We're gonna we're gonna get this started. So I'm curious. We're gonna start with the ab and preach one though. Thank you for the five dollars from Box. Hey, did you see the clip of Sneeko being um, scared by a trans fan? Oh yeah, I did. He's like uh, he's a weird guy. Anyway, let's get this party started with the first video, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when they announced that they weren't going to be on YouTube anymore. And then uh, they're like, yeah, we're going to go on Twitch. And I'm, I remember sitting here. I'm like, how long are they going to last on Twitch? Apparently, when I posted the video, they were already banned. It's like, you really think you're going to go on Twitch? And I think they're already back to streaming on YouTube. Like, that was a real nothing burger. Thank you for the $5 from Smurfson. Appreciate all the content you put out over the years. Uh, makes for some great listening while working. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Wait, am I wrong? <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. <laughs> I know this is crazy, and I hope you take this with a grain of salt. I love it when black people laugh. I don't know what it is. It's so it's just it's so different. I used to have a boss. His name was George. I love the guy. He was one of my best bosses. He was like a hard ass Brooklyn guy. So he was like he was he was tough when he was tough, but when he was like you know what I mean, he would treat you as a hard ass, but he was really nice when you were like as long as you got shit done for. He was like all right, what up? He's gonna always tell me kid. He's like, all right, kid. <laughs> he was but he was good. He used to laugh like he'd go. <laughs> And then he do like the. <laughs> it always fucking killed me, man. It's so funny. I fucking love. I love George. I don't know, man. And uh, Mario get banned on Twitch again. And who would have expected you that? Idiot. They got reinstated. The funniest thing happened. So the ban happens, right? Myron goes on this rant about like Sims or whatever it is. I guess during it, I think Walter may have said something. Did they undo the ban? Because they're already back on, I think they're already back on uh, YouTube. So it's like. That he shouldn't have said one of the words. And so they start arguing about who got them banned. Yeah. Said uh, too many times, man. I Sam? Said no, 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 yeah. Bro, what did you expect? You can't do this on Twitch. Right to okay, oh, they got to censor themselves, which is not a bad idea. They consider it selling out. I consider it being smart. Do, do whatever bullshit content you want that's like risque on a, under a paywall. You know? Do your real talk on a paywall. Like, go put, do a Patreon or something, you know? Yeah, they're streaming again on YouTube. Damn, their streams got took a hit. I wonder if that's a good thing, though. I wonder if it's because they're getting, like, a lot more views on um on Twitch. Are they even on Twitch? Wait, where the fuck is it? I thought they said they got it reinstated. Thank you for the $2 from Laptop Monkey. Is a shit-centric tank dude after this section? I have Oh, is that synthetic man? Yeah, probably. Castle Club is now the real frontier. Let's go. Castle Club is go. Let's go. My nigga's in Castle Club. Let's go. Is Simp a no on Twitch? I think so. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's fine, bro. We'll just stick to Rumble and Castle Club. That's it. That's funny shit, though. Told you. Oh, so they. Why are you not laughing? <laughs> it's a seven day suspension. Yeah. Um, so chat update. It's a seven day suspension. Why would you even do? Why would you even bother? Yeah, okay, this is it. Why would you even bother doing Twitch for hateful slurs? Is what it says. Well, I mean, these guys say like legitimate, like the F slur and stuff. So I wouldn't doubt that it was that. So could have been anything. Go it, nigga. Hundred percent. That's what it you was. You think so? Hundred percent. Because you said. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. But he said what? Go it, nigga. Hundred percent. That's what it you was. You think so? Hundred percent. Because you said. Yeah. Uh, oh, they said the F slur. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Yes, you get banned for that. I don't know, man. He said F streamers, <laughs> fuck these simps. <laughs> Bro, it's, I guarantee you, it's it's. <clears throat> I I mean, Myron's right about this one. It is the F slur. I don't I don't I think there was a whole simp thing a while ago, but I don't think that that one's taken seriously. You cannot say the F slur on there. Like that is, <laughs> I you know that's an objective thing. You know, I it's funny because I said it on there once on accident, and and I know I, I shouldn't admit this, <clears throat> but. I wa this was years ago when I first started uh, making content, and I had I was streaming a little bit on Twitch, so I decided to stream part of my car ride to Pennsylvania with my wife. <laughs> and I'm driving, and it's like late at night, and I think a guy cuts me off, so I call him a. F I, I, it's just like a reflex, and I accidentally use that slur. I called him the F slur. I said, "You fucking," you know, and I'm not proud. of <laughs> It, but it's so fun. What's I funny to me is that I think I had like a hundred or one hundred and fifty people watching. Not a single person clipped it and tried to fucking cancel me. I was like, I was like, wow, cool, man. I'm, I'm not proud of myself. For, I don't like. I'm uncomfortable when people use slurs. Like I legitimately try to get that out of my vocabulary. Uh, it's not. It's very rare when I'll, I'll say a bad word now because I, you know, I'm an old school guy. So, but I try to get it out of my vernacular in, in public and also in private because I don't want to use it in public. You know what I mean? So I try to get it. But. um I'm really just surprised people didn't fucking shit on me more for that, man. So I was like, yeah. 
So you were there. I I don't doubt it, brother. I don't doubt it. <laughs> Which went because it's because simp isn't a hateful slur. It's <laughs> That's true. Out. Byron's right. Out. I literally have. I, wait, is this <clears throat> this is crazy? Is it fresh? that got his band. No, it sounds like it is. Nah, nah bro. Nah, nah, don't put it on me, nigga. Nah, we ain't putting it on. No, it's not. So just to be clear, it's not really on him. The entire show uses slurs like that all the time. So it's not really on him. He was the one to say the word, and he was the one to slip up first. But they all, <laughs> they all use that kind of language on there. So it's really the atmosphere you've created at Twitch. It's not on him specifically. He's the reason, definitely. It's not simp, but it's not like on him, if you know what I mean. I'm gonna tell, I'm, everybody's like, nah, nah, nah. We don't put that nah. fresh. Miss you! Nah, nah, we don't put that fresh. Fresh W is what I'm trying to say. Nah, what? nigga, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna, nah, nigga, I'm good. Do you want me to no. turn on YouTube? I, I, nah, bro, it's, bro, I'm telling you, it says hateful slurs, it's 100% because you said fresh. Nah. Because if it was simp, it would have been bullying. Bro, we would have been banned regardless. Look, bro, look, look. look, look. Why look, why is Myron not taking I mean she's why is Walter not taking the L here? He definitely was. Hey, what's up, Caleb Hammer? How are you doing, brother? <laughs> nice to see you. How's everything been? Look, look, even if it was me, oh, yeah, early morning gooning. I'm trying to reset my sleep schedules all over the fucking place. Step. Either way, it would have been banned regardless. Oh now this nigga saying it would have been, been banned Hold regardless. On. Did I not call the ban? He's beforehand? he is right. Did I not say but nigga, you said someone I, someone was gonna slip up. It's just like you, you, you on Twitch bro. you know that's an automatic L. Bro, because the last time we got banned on Twitch, it was because we said hundred percent that's what it Hold was. On. We were told. Over a thousand, he said certain things. They think I'm regardless. So either way, yeah, it was for you, nigga. That's nah, what it was. bro. They can take accountability, bro. Literally, it says. <laughs> <laughs> she said, Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> it was definitely Walter. <laughs> It is what it is. Yeah, I'm just We're saying. controversial. Yeah, no, no, of course, of We're course. We're controversial. But, and listen, Debbie Fish in the chat. Hey, man, I kept it real. I kept it non-PC. We're going all the way. I mean, they never should have been doing Twitch in the first place. It makes no sense that they ever tried to do Twitch. I don't really get it. It's not a platform that they would ever do well with their um, with their content. Like, I, I, the reason they want to do it is because Rumble is fucking garbage. Um, I don't think it pays at all. But my thing is, is why? Ha and this is a real question. Why haven't they tried Kick? Doesn't kick play decently well? Why wouldn't they try kick? Like, Trainwrecks allows people to use slurs on there. He's like, yeah, well, it's okay if you use it sometimes. Like, which is an idiot, by the way. But, um, like, he, he's surprised people are pushing the boundaries with slurs. And, and when he's like, yeah, it's okay to use slurs sometimes. <laughs> like, okay. Nice. Very, very. Poggers, brother. Buddy. W. W on that one. But why haven't they tried kick? I don't understand. <laughs> We're if, crashing out. If, if it's a bullying, I would have said, "All right, it's 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 uh." We're crashing out. If it was bullying, I would be like, "Yeah, that was me saying simp." Don't do that. We're crashing out. <laughs> Who's thinking care of your cameras? Hyenas? <laughs> yeah, they they, they are dying back there. And you look and at, I don't blame them. And you look at Fresh, and Fresh is be like, "Yo, we kept it real." He's basically <laughs> mocking Myron because Myron's the one who got them banned before, so he's imitating him. And he's like, "Pro." Oh, is that what he said the first time? That's kind of funny. You're not gonna put that shit on me after you got us banned for the one thing that was making us the most amount of money. You're not gonna put me on this. Oh, that's true. Well, no, you know, they both got them. I understand that Myron was going crazy and doing that whole wild stream with, I think it was on Sneeko's or Zerka stream, but they both decided to upload like PFPs of their face of like Abba and Preach next to fucking monkeys on their ship. So, I mean, come on. So you did all that shit on YouTube and, he's and right. I warned you. And, and he's people, right. And people laugh at Fresh. They say he's a dumb one or whatever it is. And in a lot of ways, he just really is useless, but. <laughs> he really is useless. Well, I think they're dating. He's not wrong about this. Call him Walter. I don't like Fresh. Walter and Myron. That's the names. He's not wrong. And uh, we don't really. I don't know what Myron's first name, actual name is, or I'd use it. I'm pretty sure he's basically just like that's his like that's like his video game character. That's like his World of Warcraft character. You know, like imagine going into public and using like your World of Warcraft character as your name. Mine's Muntmaster <laughs> with an M. YouTube. Okay. Why is it that? I don't know. I <laughs> I was running out of names. You're not wrong. In this case, he's been telling him like, yo, why do you guys always got obsessed about talking about these Jews all the time and doing all this conspiracy True. stuff? And bringing yep, up you did that a couple and of And like, I got to keep it real. Gets him banned. Does it's not keeping it real. They use like a Jewish manager, they admit it. So like if you're pretending to hate Jewish people, but like you use Jewish, you're hiring Jewish people. It's all a grift to try to get people. Hey, thank you so much for the $5 from PP. Good raid last night, Gooner. Incredible stuff. W raid, baby. Here's my fresh and here's my fit. Because my fit is a little smaller, and the, uh, it fits a loser. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I'm also fat, so who the fuck? What, what do I? What do I? What do I know? <laughs> what, what am I even saying? Doesn't apologize. You ask Myron to apologize, take care about it. I don't. But people ask Myron, do you regret getting demonetized? No, I fucking don't. <laughs> Why? And now he's trying to put. On he's, he's trying to. He's trying to stand on business. It's. It always blows my mind 
the absolute like dumb idiot perspective. I think people have con consumed Myron uh, Fresh and Fit are like this. Well, specifically Myron, they've consumed they've consumed um so much like historical like movies and media where or really any like action movies where it's like oh the guy stands on business and they they hold it down and they win. And they think that that's applied to a fucking YouTube channel. Like they're like they're they're fighting the big fight. You're not fighting anything. You look like an asshole. You could have just been a little less intense and put of that content underneath a paywall on another website like Patreon or a Fresh and Fit website. You're not standing on business. You're being stupid. Like again, I, the Daily Wire. I disagree with like all of their takes, but it's smart what they do. They put what they feel like they can get away with on YouTube, and they do. And then they put more controversial stuff behind the Daily Wire paywall. Why don't you just do that? You know, why don't you just do that? It doesn't make any fucking sense. But instead, it's like, no, we want to say whatever we want. And they lost a significant income because they don't know how to censor themselves. It doesn't make any sense. It's just, it's just bad business. It's just idiot, dumb business. On fresh, that's crazy. Why are you, you know at me? how you know how dirty. Why are you pointing at me when you say fresh? Put it to the person beside me. That's you. <laughs> Don't. I guess he is the fresh of the fresh and fit here. True. I maybe. You know, it is kind of Abba is a little more expressive. It seems like he does more of the work, which they have a good dynamic, by the way. It seems like Abba is more interested in like online stuff. I think Abba like finds the content and brings it to uh, preach, and then Abba like edits it down and stuff. So, which is nothing wrong with that dynamic. Um. So thank you. Oh, shit. Y'all both in the Caribbeans. <laughs> you fuck yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah! Going all the way. These platforms. Oh, Rumble and Castle Club. Oh, the new Castle Club. Let's go, <laughs> niggas. <laughs> That's the funniest this dude has been. And Myron is yeah. livid. Vex. Yo. Hi, Mr. Gut. This is the second stream I've ever on, ever watched you. You're looking very white today. All right, man. Thanks. I think that's a compliment. Uh, I appreciate it, bud. <laughs> I like to take it as a compliment, okay? It wasn't a sin. Damn, why is fucking Myron so mad? He's really getting fucking worked up over this. This is ridiculous. Yo, diet. <laughs> that laugh is crazy. Because they're like, bro, you never take accountability. You are never apologetic for all the mistakes you made, but you blame someone else for that. That's it a good. Me. That's a good point. Myron sits here and pretends to be a fucking man. So like, and now, and now, you know, and Walter's right. They were gonna get banned regardless. Someone was gonna slip up, but Myron does seem to be the kingpin of fucking up that channel. And in Myron's defense, Fresh is uh, Walter's worthless. Like he really, he, I don't know, understand why he's there. He's just, a, I don't know why. Um, I really don't get it. He doesn't do anything. So Walter, uh, excuse me, Myron has more of uh, the ability. He has more right to ruin the channel. It's still idiot move, right? He's stupid and he has an ego, f f an undeserved one. Um, but like, yeah, I mean, uh, Myron's the one who built up the channel, really, and then Myron's the one that's spiraling the channel out. Walter's just a bystander, and that's just how he's always been. So he really has no right to say much of anything, honestly. But he's just, but but if Myron's gonna bust Walter's balls, then Walter's gonna bust his balls back. Finally, he's standing up for himself. Hey, Jack Esposito, thank you for the five dollars. Just got off my graveyard shift and heading to Catholic Mass this morning. P.S. My store got robbed at gunpoint last weekend. Stay safe, everyone. Well, stay safe, brother. Hopefully, you're all right. Me, no. And hopefully, everybody else is all right. Have you fresh in the chat, bro? Let's get to the to the very end. No, you said that shit. No, nigga, the chat said, oh, fresh. I said, okay, let's go with the way. Yeah, then he said, I was going to say, you said it because they were pissing you off. No, no, I'm, I'm not pissed off. Oh, shit. I just want to be a part of the team. Oh, shit. Special oh. team. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, wow. Hey man, oh, let me finish the chat, man. Let's go! Let's go! We did it, boys! We did it! We did it! He said, "Happy birthday!" We told Twitch, "Don't fuck over." Face. Let's go! Yo, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fresh is being so passive aggressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, all they'd have to do is dial down the conspiracy talk and the slurs, and they would have the same podcast on that platform. And then they could like, if they really felt like, 
being anti-Semitic that much. They can make it on a secondary platform. You don't have to constantly involve it. And here's my thing. Just from a pure content strategy perspective, it makes no sense. I have a whistle. It doesn't make sense to me to constantly be anti-Semitic. And here's why. I want, I'm going to give you like the actual of their content strategy. They get rewarded for speaking to a conspiracy idiot platform like our group of people the twitter people that's what i call them. twitter is psychotic um very full of like racism and anti-semitism i understand dipping your toes to grab the audience but why talk about it that much if those people wanted constant anti-semitism they'll just go watch fuentes or whatever other fucking dingus that they want to watch but if they're like oh this guy's chill and they talk about other stuff that isn't that like just kind of a nice separation of like, oh, I don't want to be enraged by the Jews today <laughs> because of ridiculous conspiracy theories. I'm going to go engage with a fresh and fit that just berate women. It's like, why, why try to fulfill the exact same thing? I understand you want to signal to them, please, somebody watch us because we're losing our regular audience. Because um, sexless men and racism, those are the same category of people. <laughs> um. I understand signaling, hey, you're, you, you can come over here and be comfortable, but like, why take it to the next level and kind of like talk about it frequently enough to get it banned? That does, oh. I, to me, that just seems fucking stupid. Me, <clears throat> yo, and you can already see like this partnership with theirs is not going to last. <laughs> Myron's already started a podcast with other people. You can see the way. Oh, did he? Did Myron start a podcast? I mean, Walter's kind of fucked at this point because that's the thing. I, I, I guess I like Walter more, but like Walter's worthless, man. So that they're talking you can see fresh resents him for how he got the youtube thing demonetized and how he insists on doing all these other topics and you can see myers looking at him like bro i carry this show how are you gonna get us banned on anything it's like you can look at got, i mean listen they both have an argument and the reality is who gives a fuck it's funny to watch them collapse it is dynamic and you can tell two to three years from now this shit not gonna last two to three years yeah two to two to three years oh yeah yeah I don't know about two to three years. Do you think it's going to last that long? I feel like the spiral started when YouTube got demonetized. You don't think that it's like we're already coming to like a relative end? Yeah, th this passive aggressive. Oh, let's, listen to that. Woo! Yeah. 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 Fuck these platforms, bro. <laughs> fuck YouTube. Fuck Facebook. Fuck Twitch. We love Humble, though. That's all we need. Next topic. Why not kick? I really don't get it. Can stop it, please? Well, that's the thing is Myron's sweating because they don't make enough money. And so Twitch has decent monetization. Personally, I think YouTube streaming is so much better. It's more consistent. You can leave the streams up forever. I think it's a great platform. YouTube, in my opinion, is the best streaming platform that you could ever use. Um, you'll never convince me otherwise. You, I think you might make more money on the split on Kick. Uh, but at the end of the day, you're better off on YouTube. The can pay is consistent. The platform is consistent. They are transparent, 55% of the ad revenue, 45% on shorts, permanent, the videos stay up permanently after your stream is over, okay? Much easier to keep it up there so people have something to look at when you're not streaming whatever it is, whether it's a podcast or video games or whatever. Uh, you have a separate tab for videos, so you can take a specific video type of content and post that up, and it goes through like a little bit of a different algorithm than your live feed. The shorts has a different feed as well. Just make sure to release those without announcing. I feel like YouTube is just like probably the best platform from a consistency perspective. And the only argument against using it is like, oh, well, guys, uh, Twitch, let's say you're playing video games. Oh, Twitch and Kick, those are a video game audience. Who gives a fuck? Nobody's scrolling through Twitch or Kick in any meaningful capacity to look for people to watch. If they are, it's like, you know, a, a tenth of a millionth of a percent of people. Most people are going to find you through TikTok or, or, or some kind of shorts platform. And everybody has YouTube. Not everybody has Twitch, but you'd be surprised how many like people that you wouldn't uh, see on YouTube, or excuse me, I see on Twitch, would be interested in your content on YouTube. So like, it's mostly younger men on Twitch, but like you might have like older an older audience, a more female oriented audience, gravitate over to your YouTube, even if you're playing video games. They might be like, oh, I kind of like this guy. Let me go watch his content. Oh, they have a YouTube. I have that. Boom, <clears throat> easy peasy. They subscribe, all of a sudden they're getting notifications, they're bored at work one day, they're, or they're doing the dishes like they're supposed to, and boom, oh shit, and they start going blah, 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 they start watching it. It's not that, it's really fucking, you know, honestly. Eating everything. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. <laughs> he told Fred to take accountability. <laughs> <laughs> so this is fun, this is fun. <laughs> Also, the ads on, on Twitch are fucking obnoxious, you know? <laughs> <laughs> They're going... <laughs>
don't know why that's so funny. <laughs> what? <laughs> Listen. Dude, but you know what it is? They're all probably sitting here, and they probably have so much resentment built up for Myron. And again, Myron built this this platform for them. So, like, you know, as much as we don't like him, the reality is is that he is the number. He is the biggest driving positive force. Well, he's the biggest. He was the biggest driving positive force. He created the show. The show's in his apartment. He's done a lot of the legwork. Fresh just kind of exists, or Myron just kind of. Oh, excuse me, Walter just kind of exists. Um. But they all probably are so frustrated over getting demonetized on YouTube because it's hit their, all their pockets probably in some capacity, and and now they're like they're finally kind of getting it out. You know, it's like right now Walter's the union rep. <laughs> Walter's the union rep, and he's finally bringing it up. You know, possibility, this is accountability the for being real on camera. And if you don't like it, go to Soy Tube and Twitch Sip Tube and stay over there. Well, here comes the glove, but keep it real. You know what I'm saying? Oh shit. Oh, hey man, oh. love you fresh, bro. Keep it, in. bro. Free speech is real. I wish I was allowed to record that moment, bro. Yeah, but 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 you guys do realize, like that's that's literally. I'm looking right. I looked at the thing. Go look at it on my computer. It literally says for um for um people's speech. He's, he's he's right. Right. I mean, he's right. Myron's right. But now they're just dogging on him for the YouTube break. <laughs> Walter. Walter. They took away my benefits, Walter. Please advocate for me as my union represent representative. 408. I don't know. 304. Union 304. <laughs> oh, it's, it's fine, though. We'll talk anyway. Listen, you know what? We'll reset. Damn. He's drinking iced tea in a fucking blender bottle. Come on, bro. And we won't say the word. Yo, come on, 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 <laughs> Listen, I, I didn't hold back. I was supposed to hold back. Yo, Myron was dead ass. <laughs> Damn, dude, he's so he's fucking angry right now. And in Myron's defense, Walter's not usually spunky like this. He doesn't usually stand on business. Okay, he's usually just a big stinky little poop. So he's finally grew a backbone. And I and I think that like give understand the context that Myron apparently started a podcast with somebody else. It makes sense. Because every day I think Fresh is uh, or Walter is f realizing more and more how their friendship is slowly ending. Um and so I think he's at a point where it's like, yeah, fuck it, I might as well. This is I already see the writing on the wall. I might as well kind of speak my mind and and start to express myself. But you know what I mean? Level 10 <laughs> train? Yo, that is good. Yeah. Yeah. Club again this one. Uh, <laughs> Yo, this is actually good for us uh, because we're keeping it real. Club get this uh, Come on, bro. You're not know, proud of me? You could, you just That's know fine. that Hold on a second. I got to call. Let's continue. These guys talk shit about each other when they're not around. Yes. This kind of passive 100%, aggressiveness. A hundred percent. You can feel it. A hundred percent. That's crazy. A hundred percent. Because he just went off on this tangent and everybody was in on it. Yeah, you know, that's what like, I was saying. Exactly. He's been talking about that. So it's probably since the demonetization, the, the, the demo, I don't know. I've never been demonetized. So I don't know how to say that word. But anyways. <laughs> I've been demonetized. On, well, <laughs> I got banned. <laughs> on TikTok, and I got demonetized for six months too. Actually, on my the newest account, a long time ago, last year. Um, it sucks. I'll tell you that. Like, you, you get fucking frustrated. I remember when I got banned on TikTok, and like it was deserved. I'm not. You know, I don't need to get into the specifics. I was like fucking years ago, man. Like two, three, two years, three years ago. But it stresses you out, man. And so if I had employees down count on me, whoo, I'd be fucking boost. I'd probably be feeling like a real piece of dog shit, huh? And I kind of did. I mean, I had my wife at the time. Well, we were just dating, but um, we had um, we weren't just dating. We were in love, but that whole thing was crazy. I got banned. Oh shit! That was when I was. That's when I was in a. I was still in a relationship. I was still poly, and like the other person, she didn't care that I got banned. I was stressing because that was a big amount of my fucking income, bro. And that was kind of like the I think the straw for both of us, and we kind of just you know. But anyway, it's stressful as hell, man. And now look at me. I built back up stronger. Incredible stuff. Okay. I just needed to be, I needed to, to get my control of myself <laughs> like a fucking dog. <laughs> Ever since they got demonetized. Bro, I look back up like who I was like back then and like so immature, bro. Even like a year or two ago. Fuck.
Yeah, you mean, we all need that at times. A good low helps a man grow. Yeah, it, I think a, a good low can help a man or anybody grow as long as they have the tools to grow. You know, some people get battered down. I had the tools to grow. I'm very fortunate. You know, a lot of it's my wife. I know people think it's cringe when I talk about her, but, I, you know, I, I fucking, you would too if you, <laughs> you would too if you fucking, you piv, if you fucking exploded. Very successful, unironically. I, 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 um, I think that she's a significant part of it. But like, yeah, man, it's fucking, I definitely had a growth moment. I'll tell you that. And he's not taking it. He's like, you know, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. He does the way he acts. If everything is cool. I don't think the team. And I will say, uh, you know, people always talk about Fresh being the stupid one, but even he could see how fucking. You don't really use TikTok. I only know of you through YouTube. Oh, I appreciate it. Well, that's so cool, man. Well, I have a second YouTube that posts the same stuff as my TikTok. It's called Popica Clips. It's in the description of this. Uh, well, probably not this live stream, but it'll be like any video, uh, any recent-ish video. So if you want to check it out, it's like short. It's not like super short form stuff either. Like it's a lot of some of it's like two, three, even upwards of like 10, 20 minute long clips. I <laughs> surprisingly I put up half an hour's worth of content on YouTube on uh, TikTok, and it's done like two hundred thousand views. Like <laughs> it's fucking crazy. Done this behavior was. So you have to give him credit because you know even though he's wrong on most things, and even though he is a trick. And even though he doesn't pretend like he's not, this is one thing that he's just not wrong on. That really was dumb and it cost him millions. And even True. though this podcast would not exist without Myron and all the work that he's put in, you could also see that Fresh would have never made. Well, that's, that's given him an ego. That's given him an ego, you know? Made some of the mistakes that Myron made. And that's okay to acknowledge that. But they resent each other. Getting, they definitely do. Getting banned on Twitch, in my opinion, not nearly as bad as getting banned on YouTube. You know, they had such a they had such a, a established fucking platform there, man. He resents Fresh because he doesn't feel like Fresh contributes enough. And then Fresh resents him. I don't have that many channels. Shut up, dude. I have uh, listen, all right? I have the Papa Gut main channel, a clips channel, a TikTok and a fucking Instagram. Okay? And they post the same short form content on there. I'm just fucking brand awareness, bro. Get the hell out of here. Those are good decisions. I know I've made, I've stopped and started a platforms before, but right now I think those are, it's solid. I have the main channel and then three clips channels. Okay, get out of here. And because he thinks he makes dumb business decisions that cost him them, and they're both right. So, it's interesting. Yeah, you don't need to sub to the channels if you don't like them. I have no problem with that. I'm just letting you know there's more content in case you want to take a look. Watch from the outside. It's a little entertaining. I'm the ditty of YouTube. What the fuck? <laughs> Yo. The Someone's got to keep Johnson & Johnson in uh, in business now that Diddy's gone, you know? Team, a team laughing at you like that. Like, everybody's laughing. The only person not laughing is you. The archive channel is different. It's the old channel I don't use anymore. I retired the channel. Get the hell out of here, okay? Stop. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Yeah, here's another example. Here's one in here. Yo, I'd have a The only one has a common sense here, man. Yeah, look. okay. There yeah. are Jews that are part of, 100% part of the ruling class. 100% i guess i mean there's black people that are part of the ruling class there's lots of different people part of what you consider the ruling class as on piker okay <laughs> who gives a shit a thousand percent yeah it's just i don't agree that they're the majority i don't agree i have that a question they're... pointing out who's behind See, the here we no, go hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh my god this is very important <laughs> So that he started talking and then Myron went, oh, here we go. Meaning they've already discussed what they're about to discuss. I don't know if it's necessarily. I mean, that's actually probably true. I think he's just sick of hearing him fucking talk. And Myron I'm curious what Myron had to say. Already dismissed it. Now listen. Pointing out who's behind the scenes pulling strings. What does that do? Someone please tell me. What does that do? Um, I guess. That's an interesting question. I mean, if they actually think there's against a Jewish conspiracy, which there isn't, by the way. I guess it exposes that for them. But like realistically speaking, here's the thing. There are different there's different representation in different industries, right? And like if you look at why, there's a reason. You know, there's a reason why there's like why are there a lot of Jewish people in Hollywood? It's because you used to, like there was two different well, the Jews used to not be able to participate in the movie industry, like in the United States in like the nineteen hundreds. So they made their own and it just happened to do better. <laughs> like that's pretty much all it was. <laughs> You know what I mean? And so, like, wh wh why are there, like, more Jewish bankers? My understanding is that um, back in the day in other countries, like, historically, it was considered a bad job to be a banker. Like, it was considered, like, a dirty job. And so, like, you know, it's people uh, tend to stay within their family, and a lot of people will, you know, do the same job as their parents and whatnot, and that just kind of steamrolled. Um, <clears throat> it's not like a conspiracy. Different people just do different things. Like, there's a lot more, there's more black people in basketball. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
So it just things just kind of happen the way they do. The problem is, is that these guys are looking to be a victim. That's why they come up with the conspiracy theories. Everybody wants to be a victim now. It's not just like women or fucking certain groups of people or whatever. It's everybody. Every there's a, there are every single group has a victim complex for some people. Some people are just trying to acknowledge some problems. Like you have black people that are just like, hey man. You know, historical systemic racism is real. Shit's tough. I get that. But then there's some people, and it's especially the, I'm going to be honest with you, it's the very financially well-to-do young black people with a lot of European features that'll that'll cry victim more than any other person because it's very performative social media based. But you have it across like different racial groups. This is the white people. This is their complaining here. Oh, the Jews uh, the, the control the world. Get rid of black people. Uh. Shut the fuck up, right? It's a victim complex. Same thing with the manosphere in general. Victim complex for men. It's not just advocation for men. It's mostly just a victim complex for people to morally fucking masturbate. Jerk off. Oh, I'm a victim. And just jerk off and feel better about yourselves without actually putting in any work to try to be better. And I get it's hard. It's hard getting better at stuff. You know, not everybody has the tools. It's rough out there. But then, like, maybe if you <laughs> realize that... Not to be fucking cringe leftist, but like there, maybe you'll start to realize your class, your class consciousness, <laughs> right? It's like, oh wait, dude, that's like the real issue. You know what I mean? I think the real issue isn't that people struggle; it's that people don't necessarily have the tools to pull themselves out of the struggle. And that's where it's like, oh, I wish we had a better uh, tax structure, better advocation for for workers and, and whatnot. So, so just I'm gonna make you a target. No, hundred percent. What does that do for yeah. the public? Yeah. Well, a lot of people probably didn't know that just now, and now now they know. What are they going to do behind the behind what the COVID? What are they going to do with it? The COVID, the COVID thing. What are they going to do? Nobody was behind COVID. My understanding is we're finally allowed to admit that apparently, like there was just uh, I think a lab in China that was studying how to because they do this all the time preventative medicine, and it leaked out. I think is that what it was? I swear to God, if I get like a fucking infraction from you, I'm pretty sure that is like what's the I think that's I'm pretty sure that's what happened, and we know that there was like suppression from the Chinese government. Um. But there's no conspiracy to do anything. Like, they had a preventive medicine and it happened to get out. It's an unfortunate reality. Like, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Terrible stuff. But there was nobody behind anything. Do with it. Education is important, bro. To do what? This isn't education. This is fucking idiot speech. Like a freshman. I'm not going to have this discussion with you, bro. I'm just saying. You're always like, bro, why are you just going to name no them? point calling out people. All right, we'll go back to you, too, You then. cannot So defeat. fresh can feel safe. Let's go. Let's just go back to you. <laughs> Damn, Myron's a fucking... Uh, Walter's a normie, guys. Walter's a normie. Andrew, oh am I correct like or no? I'm just drinking my coffee listening to this combo, bro. Bro, I'm, an, I'm, I'm the only one. Yeah, one yeah, yeah, common bro, sense here, man. Yeah. Look, you said three years. I say two months. I think two months is a little short. I, I give it, like, maybe four months. Maybe five. Maybe three to five months. No. I think that maybe we'll have a nice Christmas present. No, it'll outlast Christmas. Because that's a positive season. Usually people are more good. It's going to be, it's going to, well, it's either going to be before Christmas or after Christmas. It's going to be, uh, you know what? I'm going to, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm going to feel, I'm feeling like it's going to be more of like the end of November, but I think that it's going to be uh, January or February. I'm thinking January when I'm on vacation in Disney with my wife. So that's actually one. So like middle endish of January, that's when they're going to fall out. Just because like something big always happens when I go on a big vacation. I gotta give people along that these things take it's a process the process is already in all right well okay incredible stuff